Lawler is 38. Souza is four. He is two inches taller. Lawler will have the two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Ruthless Robbie. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? Good. Well, always great to be back on the left coast as we get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Great to have you with us as always. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop, stop, stop. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just over three minutes to go, round one. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robbie Law. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Sosa gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Close guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fight. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Shakane Souza. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Shakare Souza there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. His opponent better react right now before it's too late. He's going to start to attack the triangle choke. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. 
All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes unofficially have landed for ruthless Robbie Law. Well, I gotta think, DC, anytime you're above 50% on the connection rate, you gotta feel pretty good. 53% the accuracy thus far against Jacare Souza. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Under a minute to go. Side control now. Oh, elbow to the head there by Law. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Shakane Souza there. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts strikers. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of... He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Back and forth we go. Just misses there with the left. Oh! He's hit. Throws him up. We'll get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Zeus is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right.
here by Shaka De Souza there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Souza. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You've got to keep going. you got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lawler's pass is denied. Deal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his act. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh. And he's out. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom. My shot and he shows it there. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight.